than ordinary TV video games. This is Vectrex, the only video game system with its own video screen. Take it anywhere. This is the Vectrex, which was released in 1982, and while it was a commercial failure like the Atari 5200, everybody loves the Vectrex. I love the Vectrex. Why don't I have this? I mean, it is just, of all of the early 80s, you know, video game tech, you know, that's out there. I think this is by far the most interesting. It was an all-in-one vector monitor video game system combo. Vector quality graphics. It was vector graphics. Vector graphics. Clean, crisp, more detail than anything else you could do at the time. Vector graphics is just something you can't get on your home TV. That's all raster. That's an electron gun, you know, sweeping back and forth and, and making the, the pictures and pretty and blah, blah, blah. Vector graphics are like, bajam in your face. Here's the joystick of the Vectrex. Four buttons, most games only used a couple. Joystick was okay. Another thing I like about the Vectrex is that it has a handle built into the back and it's technically a portable game console. As long as you have some AC power nearby, you can take the Vectrex and play it wherever because it's got its own screen. Well, it was really cool they did stuff like they had the light pen. You could go to the, on the screen and draw. You put it up to the screen and it actually attracts the... Right. It attracts the phosphorus. Yeah. <laughs> or something. <laughs> they had Melody Master, they had Animaction. Hold it up, you can animate at the time. Hell, it was only vector graphics. It's only one color blazing white, but it was cool. There's also really good games on the Vectrex. For starters, we've got We've got a built-in game, Mindstorm. So Mindstorm is this, okay, it's, it's, it's an Asteroids knockoff, but that's okay, because Asteroids is awesome. Late and rip-off of Asteroids, except you had in the middle this little little thing you didn't want to hit. They had a couple of rip-offs, like Clean Sweep, which was like a Pac-Man clone, mm -hmm. um, but, you know, majority was were original games made for this system. They had a couple of arcade ports only. They had Scramble and uh, Pole Position. The system also had some pretty impressive sound capabilities, mm -hmm. like in a game, uh, Spike. They used a lot of digital voice in that game, and it sounded really good. <laughs> Armor Attack. Armor Attack was sort of a uh, clone of combat, but it was fun. And there's even a vibrant homebrew community producing new Vectrex games, like Vectrexians. If you have a Vectrex or you're lucky enough to pick one up, you can buy the, the multi-game cartridge now right. and you can get them all yeah. on one if you're yeah. willing to pay like 150 bucks. All the games in the Vectrex library came with an overlay that you put on top of the monitor because you didn't have any color graphics on the system so you had these overlays which are plastic and they gave you the backgrounds on, on the game. You put them on it's like ooh it's green and and blue a little bit of blue. Okay I'm I'm buying this theater of the mind. This is this is awesome. I need a Vectrex. Pat probably has like 10 of them in his basement. I'm gonna beat him up.